Confetti where white people live. <laughs> Born and raised right here in Kentucky. I grew up in a house with a crazy lady. We called her mom. I mean, my dad had a crazy mom growing up. And a round of applause. How many of you guys got whooped when you grow up? You guys get whooped when you grow up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I think that's something that's missing from today's generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got whooped when I was growing up and made the man I am today, which is the guy who clinches his ass anytime somebody takes off a belt. So, <laughs> the terrible way in the honeymoon, I can tell you that much. <laughs> My mom used to whoop me, that's fine with me. Here's the problem, my mom was, she would threaten me before she would spank me, and I was smart enough as a kid to know my mom's threats didn't make sense, but I was dumb enough as a kid to argue with the lady with the belt in front of me, you know what I'm saying? Like my mom used to say that, she'd be like, boy, if you don't sit down and shut up, I'm gonna break my foot off in your ass. And I'd be like, well, first of all, mom, your foot's not gonna fit. And if you wanna hobble around the house looking like a white Kunta Kente, that is up to you. <laughs> Kunta Kente was a slave. Uh, yeah, how old are you, ma'am? 24. Oh, how sweet. Oh. Yeah, he was a slave. It was on a movie called Roots. All the black people had to watch it. It took a whole spring break. Uh, just want to make sure you're not lost. He thought he was a rapper, didn't he? He thought he was a rapper. He's not a rapper. He's not a rapper. He did have two chains, but... <laughs> White people, it's February, okay? Let me... Let me just give you a history lesson so you can take it back to your kids and grandkids, okay? If you want a great history lesson, 24, you don't know about this probably, okay? There's a black man you need to look up. He was one of the best people of the modern era. His name is LeVar Burton. LeVar Burton was an amazing story. He came over to this country as a slave named Kunta Kente. And at some point, they changed his name to Toby. He tried to run away. They chopped off half his foot. It was terrible. And then, over a span of years, he learned how to read and got a TV show. <laughs> teaching all the little boys and girls how to read. Singing about butterfly in the sky. I've never heard that slave hymn, but it's catchy. You know, I can go twice as high. And then I don't know what happened. The TV show ended, and all of a sudden, he lost his vision at some point and became an officer aboard the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Happy February, white people. <laughs>